In this screencast, we're going to build on the idea of creating equations, this time for parallel and perpendicular lines to a line that we are given. So let's look at the properties of parallel lines. Two lines are parallel if they have the same slope or rate of change. So you can see here, and as an example, we have two lines, one both in uh, slope-intercept form, y equals 2x plus 5, and y equals 2x minus 1. Since they have the same slope, or rate of change, of 2, then they are parallel. All lines with a rate of change of 2 will be parallel to these two lines. So 2x plus or minus any, any constant are going to be linear linear equations that have the same slope. Now perpendicular lines have a, another kind of pattern. Two lines are perpendicular if their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. Look at that as, is their product of those two slopes negative one? But I like to use the term negative reciprocal. So here's a line with a slope of three. If I multiply that by negative one and find its reciprocal, that is going to be the perpendicular line to it. So 3 times negative 1 and then, and then finding the reciprocal of that gives you negative 1 third. By the same token, negative 1 third, you multiply it by negative 1, and then you take its reciprocal, you get positive 3. So any lines with a slope of 3 will have perpendicular lines with a slope of negative 1 third, for example. Now, special cases are also addressed here. Uh, in the case of a vertical line, which has an infinite slope, any other line with that same infinite slope has is parallel to it. For And of course, you may recall that vertical lines are in the form x equals some constant. No matter what that constant is, if they're in that form x equals some constant, they are all perpendicular to each other. Any horizontal line is perpendicular to any vertical line. Horizontal lines have a slope of zero. So it would be something like y is a constant would be the equation of a horizontal line. It's The perpendicular line would be x equals any other constant. Let's call that c2. Any vertical line is perpendicular to any horizontal line. Those are special cases. So let's look at an example. Find the equation of a line passing through the point negative 3 comma 5 and parallel to y equals 4x minus 7. So graphically, here's what that looks like. Over here is the point negative 3, 5. And here, this purple line is the line given by the equation y equals 4x minus 7. So we want to find something like this, a line that's parallel to that purple line yet passes through that point. How do we do that? Well, this goes, some of these skills go back to the previous screencast. So if you haven't seen that, you probably need to see that first. But let's look at putting this into point slope form. Point slope form, you may recall, is y minus y1 equals the slope or rate of change m times x minus x1. Well, we know that the slope of any line that's parallel to 4x must, minus 7 must be 4. So we already know, since we're dealing with parallel lines here, that the slope has to be 4, the rate of change. And since we're given the coordinates of a point that must be on this parallel line, as negative 3 comma 5, that's our point. Negative 3 is x and 5 is our y. So we'll take that and substitute into the point slope form. So we get y minus y1, which is 5, equals the slope or rate of change 4 times x minus x1. So um, x1 has a value of negative 3. So this is x minus negative 3 or x plus 3. Honestly, that would be a valid form of an answer. Now, if you are required to put it into slope-intercept form, let's go ahead and do that. So to put it into slope-intercept form, we're going to have to do a few algebraic um, operations to it, the first of which is to use the addition property of equality to isolate the y by adding 5 to both sides. Once we've done that, we get y equals 4 times the quantity x plus 3 plus 5.
that's not quite in slope intercept form, the next thing we're going to have to use is use the distributive property and distribute that 4 to both the x and the 3. When we do that and we combine that with the, the 5, we get y equals 4x plus 17. That is the equation in slope intercept form of a line that is parallel to the original line of 4x minus 7, but passes through the point three, negative 3 comma 5. So let's take a look at what that looks like. If we were to graph the equation y equals 4x plus 17, you see that it is parallel to the original line and passes through negative 3 comma 5. Let's now find the equation of the line passing through that same point, negative 3, 5, but perpendicular to y equals 4x minus 7. So same situation, negative 3, 5 is our point, the purple line, 4x minus 7. Now though, we're looking to create something like a perpendicular line, even though I didn't draw that very well. We're still going to start off with point slope form, y minus y1 equals the slope, our rate of change times x minus x1, although in this situation now. Since the original line slope is 4, we need a negative reciprocal of it. So we are going to multiply it by negative 1 and then find its reciprocal. So 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Flip that or find its reciprocal, you get negative 1 over 4. So the slope of our perpendicular line is going to be negative 1 fourth. We still have the same point, negative 3 comma 5. And so we're going to put all of this information into the point slope form. So y minus 5, which is our y1, equals the slope, negative 1 fourth, times the quantity x minus negative 3. Convert that to x plus 3. If we need to convert that to slope intercept form, we do the same sort of steps. We're going to take y minus 5 equals negative 1 fourth times the quantity x plus 3, although this is a valid answer in point slope form. And we're going to add 5 to both sides, just like we did before, which is going to yield y equals negative 1 fourth times the quantity x plus 3 plus 5. Then we're going to distribute the negative 1 fourth to both terms using the distributive property. That's going to give us negative 1 fourth x minus 3 fourths plus 5, which can be written as 20 over 4 to get a common denominator. And we combine the negative 3 fourths and the 20 fourths, we get positive 17 fourths. So the equation in slope intercept form of our line that's perpendicular to the line 4x minus 7 and passes through negative 3, 5 is y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 17 over 4. Graphically, that line just looks just like this green line. You can see that they are perpendicular to each other. They intersect at a 90 degree angle.